Hey y'all, welcome back to Growing an Essay. Um, so we're out here at the land. Ooh, my hat is crooked. Yeah, about that. Anyway, uh, we're out here at the land and we're pretty excited to go ahead on and get the chicken coop up. So the hubby is trimming up some trees so that we can drive through here. And as you can see, there's lots and lots and lots of trees. So he's over there right now with the chainsaw. Um, kind of trimming up some stuff where we have to come through um, with the truck. And that way it gives us more access to kind of bring stuff in and sit stuff down and stuff like that. So um, I came out here and... Uh, chose the area um, from where I'm actually gonna put it in orientation to where the house is gonna be um, so yeah so that's what we're doing right now kind of marking out where stuff is gonna be um, yeah I'm excited it's cold out here y'all anyway this Arctic blast has come through again and like I said most people how I've told you before Texas always has one more cold front before the real spring hits and this is it so um yeah he's back there working and I'm over here doing videos uh yeah he's probably mad right now excuse the teardrops like I told y'all before um my eyes water when I'm cold so <laughs> um yeah do you need help Did you cut it? Yeah. Oh, do you need help? Do you need me? Not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna let him do all the work, y'all. Don't tell him. Anyway, oh, let me tell you, let me show you the surprise that we found here on the land, which I'm pretty excited about. Look at this! We're gonna use them. We're definitely gonna use them. They were here on the land. I'm guessing there was a fence here, um, dividing us up or something. But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely gonna use them. men and chainsaws <laughs> anyway let's go watch him work where we taking this to over there yeah ah pokey
Bay? Yeah. I'm thinking I want to move it up just a little bit closer in that ball area there. Over in front of the cactus and stuff. Bring it up so. That's a whole eagle. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, yeah. That's a whole eagle, y'all. There's like two of them over there. Craziness. Just so y'all know. Um, I think he is about to do some more. But this area here, I'm going to move this back a little bit so y'all can see. Um, <clears throat> all right. This whole area here is going to be chicken coop area. Um, we're trying to get stuff cleared out. Um, the driveway is going to be that way where you are with the chicken coop man over here on this side of the driveway and then going this way over this way is going to be my house so what I'm trying to do is make it so that um, I'll be able to see the chickens and the animals outside of the kitchen window and that way I don't have to worry about um, like not being able to see the animals if something is going on or whatever or get out in time so that um we're trying to make sure we get done right so um yeah he's over there chopping down some more stuff and so yeah You ready for me? Come have some fun. <laughs> you call that fun? How am I gonna get through there? Take that one right there in the middle. Watch the door. I know, that's what I'm telling you. You need to take that one in the middle. Seven right there, so I can come through. Don't bust your own ass. Which one? This? Yeah.
Alright, do that and we start. Okay. Cactus. I mean, I know you can cook it, but um, yeah, about that. That's a lot of uh, spikes in there, and I ain't about that life right now. Well, if we get camels, we can... camels can eat that with the spikes on it. I doubt it, man. Okay, sure. I think you should have just, like that one, cut it at the base. That one, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm afraid to. Why? Because when you cut it, it like shakes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Timber it. Timber! Now cut it from that side. Should have brought like some hook things out here. We should have went by track supply before coming. We didn't know we were gonna cut down this. I didn't think about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Man. Y'all. <laughs> you want to see something funny? Best show. Look at that big ass knife. Like for real. <laughs> it's a pocket knife, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guess where that came from? Your dad.
the bigger one.
All right, y'all. So right there, I don't know if you remember how full that tree was. It's been cleared out more. We cleared out the cactus right there. A little area clear. And right here, you see all the fresh cuttings? All cleared out. We still got some more stuff to do, but a little bit of time. We don't want to overwhelm ourselves. Must be nice to have some nice new boots. Okay, lesson number two out of this. You know how therapists are always saying you gotta take care of yourself before you take care of somebody else? Mm -hmm. Prime example right here. So, Shimon tells me, because I'm wearing these old boots that I've had since like, I don't know. When military did we, days. When did we have BDUs? How long ago was I don't that? know, it's still military days. Since oh. at least 2005. <laughs> okay, so around then we still had the black boots and I still have those suckers. So, I wear them because it's like the only kind of outdoorsy boots I have, but my feet, just wasn't comfortable so Shimo says you need to go to Walmart and buy you some shoes or some boots so I didn't do it yesterday we could have done it yesterday but I didn't but before I came out here I went and bought me so bought myself some boots 40 bucks y'all 40 dollars steel toe uh, what brand not, are they I have no clue don't know I'll put it in the description or something okay <laughs> 40 bucks y'all no problems with my feet so the one that said, take care of your feet, once you have gardening boots on, what happens? What are those? <laughs> she steps on the thorn, the thing goes right through to her foot. Yep. So when people, that's true. When therapists tell you to take care of yourself before you can take care of others, prime example. Be quiet. <laughs> Nobody likes to listen to a therapist. Mm -hmm. Said the person who just went and got these boots because his wife nagged him enough to go get them. Yeah, Shimon also has a psychology degree. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> go do some work. All right, y'all. So that's all the work we're going to do today, only because it is very cold out here and I already stepped on a thorn. So he's been pretty much doing everything by himself. So thank y'all for hanging out with us and. I don't think I've done a proper introduction of my husband. Everybody, this is Jerome, the, my other half. I'm doing? the better half, just so you know. Just so you know. That means I'm the best? No. <laughs> no, that is not what that means. Anyway, be blessed, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and you can also share this video with friends and let them know to subscribe also. Thanks, y'all. Be blessed. Bye.